Hey there, I'm Mike Berg with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a grass replacement inside Adobe Photoshop that will take your images from looking like this to looking like this. So I know that the degree to which we manipulate our photos is a controversial topic amongst real estate photographers. After all, we want our images to look great, but not be too misleading that it lands us in some trouble. The grass, however, is something I feel like we can get away with manipulating, along with doing sky replacements. Sometimes the sky's blue, sometimes it's not. Sometimes of the year, the grass is green, sometimes it's not. I know some of you will disagree with me. If you do, please leave a comment below and tell us why. All right, without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and see how to do a grass replacement. All right guys, so here I have a folder with a couple of little images in it for us. Uh, here's the first image here. I'm just gonna take this over and open up Photoshop. All right, here's this house I shot recently. It is the end of winter here in New Jersey, so the grass you see is not looking too good. Uh, so the agent requested that I make it green. I get this request fairly often. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, we're gonna shrink this down a little bit. All right, also in this folder, I have a grass image. I'm gonna open that up. All right, here's your grass. I got this from the internet, but you know, it's a good idea to have a folder on your computer with a bunch of grass images in it. Maybe take some while you're out shooting houses when the grass and the weather is good. Um, keep them on hand to use for this sort of thing. All right, I'm just gonna double click on this, turn it into a layer command or control click, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC here. Select this layer, cut, and I'm gonna just paste it on over here. Okay, I'm gonna shrink this down just a bit. Kinda wanna put this, well, you want it to cover off all the grass area, obviously. Um, See, this stuff is real close to the camera, so it's looking real big. So that's not gonna look too right in this image because none of this grass here on the bottom is, is nearly that big. So we wanna kind of bring this down as far as possible so we get this grass that seems to be the right, you know, match the image fairly well. So once we have that in position, all we're gonna do here is Put a layer mask on this. Now I'm gonna do Command I or Control I on a, on a PC and just invert this into black. So our mask is now black so you can't see the image. So now if we take a paintbrush, B, and we wanna make sure we got a soft brush here, soft round hardness, I'm just gonna use zero. And uh, we wanna make sure that we have white selected because anything we paint white on this black mask will show through. So make sure your mask is selected here. And all I'm gonna do here, let me get a bigger brush here. All I'm gonna do here is start painting it in. Get most of this in here and then Gonna zoom in here a little bit. My brush size down. Just start getting in close here. Paint this all in. I'm kind of just showing you guys this quick. You guys can be as detailed as you want here. some on the sidewalk here you just use your eraser or use black with your paintbrush and do this clean it up like I said I'm just showing you guys this quick but once you have it all in there the other thing I like to do is just take the opacity down just a little bit bring some of the natural blend it a little in with the, the yellowy grass and uh, it's gonna give it a little bit more a realistic look here around like 75 percent 
so it's not so over the top green. And there you go, that's the difference. It's that easy, guys. All right, here we'll do another uh, image real quick just to uh, show you guys again. I have this other image here, same house. All right, so yeah, you can really see how bad the lawn is here. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. All right, so again, we're gonna take our grass image, which I may still have on my clipboard, but I'll just undo and recut. I'm gonna paste it in here again, shrink down. Again, we're gonna bring the size on this down. Somewhere around there should do it pretty good. Again, add layer mask. Command I, make this black. Now we're gonna take our brush tool by hitting B. Make sure you have white selected. Make sure you have the mask selected. I'm gonna start painting this in here. See, maybe this brush is actually too soft. <laughs> I know it's on zero, so I'm getting some spillage over here onto the sidewalk, but you know, bring your softness up a little bit. Or the hardness, I should say. So it's not doing that, but you know, you can clean this up. Like I said, with the eraser tool or using black, we'll do the opposite. So again, I'm just gonna paint this around the edge here. Again, you guys can be a little bit more careful than I am being right now, but I just want to show you how this is done. We got this little patch over here. Let's zoom in here. Shrink this down. idea I'm sure it's good enough for uh, demonstration purposes all right so after you zoom back out here again I'm just gonna bring the opacity down just a little bit blend it with the original grass makes it look a little more realistic you can see some of the patches of uh, grass here showing through but that actually makes it look a little more real <laughs> to be honest with you so somewhere in that range there 75 to 80 percent looks good and that is it pretty simple guys right and gets the job done quick we like to be quick <laughs> we don't want to spend too much time editing these images oh by the way you know these images are already edited so I'm doing this at the end you know so after I do all my other tweaks and edits, like the sky was replaced here, it was a gray day. And uh, the last thing I did here was uh, come in here and do the grass. So that was the last step I did for these. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Does this look fairly good to you guys? What do you think about this method? All right guys, there you have it. That's how I do a simple grass replacement inside Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again on the next one.